two milligrams. That's all the fentanyl it takes to be potentially lethal to the average adult in America, according to the US Drug Enforcement Agency. It's killing thousands of Americans, and it's flooding into the country. More than 107,000 people in the United States died of drug overdoses and drug poisonings in 2021, according to the CDC. Nearly 70% of those deaths were due to synthetic opioids like fentanyl. Research on fentanyl shows it can be 100 times more potent than morphine and 10 to 20 times more potent than heroin. It's not just lethal, it's extremely cheap. A single dose can cost as little as $2, according to some estimates. In the past year, Texas law enforcement alone has seized over 342 million lethal doses of fentanyl. That's enough to kill every man, woman, and child in the United States. So who's responsible for this crisis plaguing our country? Well, for one, the Biden administration's immigration policies are making the problem even worse. We know that China is sending Mexican cartels precursor chemicals used to make fentanyl. This graph from CBP gives us an idea of what happens next. We routinely get announcements about massive drug busts, but those are just what CBP is apprehending. Far more are getting across unseized because 80 to 90% of Border Patrol agents have been pulled off the lines. CBP seized nearly 13,000 pounds of fentanyl in the 2022 fiscal year and about 11,000 pounds in 2021. Compare that with only about 4,800 pounds seized in 2020 when President Trump was in office. If we want to slow the flow of fentanyl into our community, where it destroys lives and devastates livelihoods, we must immediately secure the border, make clear to the cartels that their business model no longer works here, and empower federal law enforcement to do their job and protect the homeland.